what's going on guys, I'm Kiri, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be showing you a sample that I made in the style of like Don Tolliver. So to start the sample off, I pulled up this bass from Alchemy called Omen. This whole loop is actually all one chord, so it's just an E the whole way. For effects on that, all I had was this EQ cutting out a little bit of the lows and a lot of the highs. After I got the bass down, I went ahead and got this synth preset also from Alchemy. The progression this is playing also just follows the one chord. Just on the second and fourth chord, the minor third goes down a semitone. For effects on that, I started with this EQ cutting out the lows and some of the highs. Then I had half time on the quarter note setting just with the mix turned down a bit. After that, I had this flanger. Then to finish it off, I just had another EQ cutting out some of the lows and some of the highs. After that, I went and I rendered that and then I chopped it up and reversed it until it sounded like this. Alright, so for effects on that, I had this compressor. Then I had flanger again on the ternary stereo preset, just with the mix turned down. And then to finish it off, I just had comeback kid on the quarter note setting just to add a bit of delay. The next sound I got was this key called trick. This part follows the exact same MIDI as the other synth. For effects on that, I started with this EQ cutting out the lows. Then I had the Juno Chorus on the Deep Chorus preset just with the mix turned down a touch. Then I had this Plate Reverb on the Shy Reverb preset. And to finish it off, I just cut out the bass again. Then I went and got this synth to use as a bit of a lead. I just playing a really simple part. Effects on that, I started with this EQ cutting out the lows. Then I had chorus on the deep chorus preset. The next thing I added was this arp called To The Moon. I just had this playing an extended version of the same chord. That just hits on the first beat of every four bars. I went ahead and rendered that out and then I reversed it and put effects until it sounded like this. First effect I went ahead and put was this tape delay just on the eighth note setting. Then I also had this flanger on the ternary stereo setting, also just with the mix turned down. Final part I had that was using Analog Labs was this key called Graceful. I just had this following the chords with a bit of rhythm to it. For effects on that, I had this EQ cutting out the lows and the highs and a bit of harshness in the lower mids. Then I had chorus on the deep chorus preset with the mix turned down. And then I went ahead into portal and got this don't go preset from one of Steven's kits. Altogether, this is what I had so far. <laughs> So it was already sounding pretty full. I just wanted to add a couple of textures on top of this bit. I started off by putting this only one percussion loop. Final texture I had in was just this reversed bell. It's really not doing anything too crazy. It just kind of adds a bit of movement to the sample. The only effect I had on that was this EQ cutting out the lows and highs. After I had the intro sorted, I wanted to change it up a bit. So I added in a few parts and took out most of the synth stuff that I had. The main thing that I added in this bit that changed up the vibe was this guitar from one of our hugs kits. These kits are super crazy, they're definitely a must have. After that, all I really added was textures. So I had this bell just hitting on the three of every bar. The only effect I had on that was this EQ cutting out the lows and the highs to kind of hide it more in the sample. And the final part that I added was just this vibraphone, once again from an Al Hug kit.
All together now, this is what the B section of the sample sounds like. As you can hear, the textures kind of just add that little something extra to the sample. But yeah, that's the whole sample. Thanks for watching. Remember, all the sounds you've heard in this are from me and Noah's Alchemy Analog Lab Bank, available on drumfire.com. Link in the description. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to go follow me and the rest of the guys on our socials. Links to that will be down below. Let me know what you want to see from me next on the channel. I'll see you next time.